guys welcome back to my channel so I wanted to do a what's in my hospital bag and also what's in my baby's hospital bag video so I am 39 weeks pregnant as of yesterday and I'm just now getting around to filming this video I don't know why it took me so long I'm such a procrastinator but yeah basically I wanted to film this video because it made me pack my hospital bag because I could go into labor any day and that would be terrible if I forgot something crucial like I don't know an SD card or my makeup just kidding although I really do want my makeup um, after for pictures but yeah so I need to pack this stuff and I finally did it right before this video so feel free to let me know in the comments if you've already had children and if you see things that I either don't need or if you see some items that I'm critically missing that I need to bring with me I would love to get your guys's feedback but the first thing that I wanted to pack in my hospital bag are nursing pads and I know that the hospital gives you a lot of this stuff but like I said I am a first-time mom so I just want to be prepared and a lot of you guys say that even though the hospital gives you these things you may not like them um, you may feel uncomfortable using them they might be scratchy or they might run out or something like that god forbid so the first thing I'm packing are these baby bliss nursing pads I actually got these off Amazon and they are available on Amazon Prime I think you get 14 and they also said that you get a bonus of stuff so um, apparently okay you get like a little laundry bag so that's nice and I think this is like a little it's just like a little cloth maybe a burp cloth or something you could use but yeah the reason I got these is because they are reusable so it's nice if you want to save money apparently it's good to get reusable ones because I don't know you could just throw them in the wash and obviously reuse them these are really really soft I think the brand basically said that they are as soft as a baby's touch or baby's skin or something so I don't think they're gonna irritate my skin or irritate my baby they also say online that they are super absorbent and leak proof so let me know if you guys have used reusable nursing pads and if you'd recommend them uh, but these seem really good and they also seem really durable so you can throw them in the wash multiple times without them getting tattered so yeah I love these and I will go ahead and link below everything I possibly can for you guys including the nursing pads from Amazon down below in the description box so the second thing I wanted to bring with me is a boppy and this one's just like I think the brand is called boppy I could be wrong but um, I got this at my baby shower and I did show it in my nursery tour which you haven't seen I will link that somewhere here but it looks like this um, I got the cover from Kaden Lane and she has an Etsy shop and also a regular shop and I do have a discount code for you guys I will go ahead and link that below if you like this one one or if you like something else from her shop and wanted to use the code but how cute is this first off the back is like so soft and so plush and then I love the ruffle edging and yeah the prettiest um, little rose print so I wanted to bring a boppy just because I feel like this is something I'm gonna be using for nursing for a long time so I just wanted to get into the routine right away with using it and get my baby used to it also I heard that the pillows they provide for you at the hospital are really uncomfortable so I just like to feel like I'm at home and so I'm gonna bring this with me I wanted to bring a girly robe since I'm having a girl so something that's pink and something I can wear um, in pictures after she's born since we are getting pictures taken but this one I think I've already shown you guys and I will link it below but it is from pinkblushmaternity.com it's actually a maternity robe not that it really matters because robes are drapey but I liked it because it's girly it has flowers on it or roses on it just like her middle name and I think it looks really cute in pictures I like the pattern so I brought that with me not to mention I'm just like a robeaholic I could wear robes actually I do wear robes every single day and then the second one I just brought just in case um, that one gets dirty or who knows but this one is also another favorite robe from the brand I think it's called Gillian and O'Malley but this is from Target and it is so soft you guys it's just it doesn't look like anything special but this is probably one of my favorite robes next to my plaid one that I always wear in my vlogs so to be honest I haven't purchased any nursing tanks yet I just purchased like nursing bras um, so I'm just gonna bring stuff that I don't really like with me just because I know they're gonna get dirty you're in a hospital for a few days and yeah so I brought this um, this is like a pajama dress from Target but it's just like button down it's easy access for breastfeeding like I said and yeah I don't it's not like my favorite pajama set so I don't really care if it gets ruined and this is just a set of um, pajamas so this is just the top and, and then I do have pants to go with it so another thing that I was advised to bring are cozy socks because like I said it can get cold so I brought these are actually two but I brought four pairs of cozy socks because you just never know 
And then as far as what I'm going to wear in the hospital after she's born, um, I brought three sets of clothes because I think you're only there for three days in the hospital with a regular vaginal birth. So I brought yoga pants, sweatpants, maternity leggings. Um, so that's what I'm going to wear on the bottom for the first three days. And then also just button down tops. So I just brought this chambray top to wear home, um, a sweater, some baggy sweatshirts and things like that. And then I also brought some nursing bras because you guys told me that I'm going to need them. So I went out and got some. So this is from a brand, what is this? Uh, bravado designs but I will link below where I got this and it looks like this it's not very attractive I'm not gonna lie nursing bras are just not the most attractive things but I guess you just don't care when you're breastfeeding um, and I have tried this on before it's really comfortable and really supportive it has like a three clasp hook in the back which I think is nice so it's not gonna slip off or anything like that and I actually also practice taking off the um, the strap for when you're breastfeeding and that took me a second to figure out but I finally got it so yeah I brought this one and I also have two more so something else that I thought was kind of like a smart thing to do um, since I can't necessarily pack everything in my hospital bag since I use a lot of the stuff every day like my makeup my laptop all of my cameras I use those obviously I'm filming on one right now my chargers so basically what I've already done is made a list and put that right on top of my hospital bag right by the door so basically when I do go into labor if I'm in a lot of pain Pain, or if I'm I don't know having a panic attack I don't know what's gonna happen but Doug can go to the list and pack everything else that's extra so my cameras my makeup I have that all packed up and ready to go but I like to have that out since I do use it every day so I have a list for him on both my bag and his bag of stuff we can basically put in our bag last minute um, that we use it on an everyday basis so the next thing I brought with me are obviously a bag of toiletries so besides makeup I brought um, let's see ah these are just hotel samples Samples, but this is bath gel um, deodorant what else hand sanitizer although I know they have that in the hospital but this one smells like snowflake apparently <laughs> it's from Bath and Body Works um, I also have shampoo and conditioner I don't really know um, if I'm gonna want to take a shower at the hospital I hear from some women that they do want to take a shower after they deliver which makes sense to me but at the same time you're exhausted so I don't know I don't know if I'll want to take one, so just in case I don't want to wash my hair, which I probably won't, I'm going to take dry shampoo. I'm also going to take a hairbrush. This is just a tangle teaser because um, it's easy to travel with, a headband, and a ponytail holder because these are like necessary for me to give birth in. I don't want to have um, hair in my face or anything like that. And let's see. I also brought this. This is uh, Belly Bee Nipple Nurture Butter for breastfeeding moms. It's plant-based healing and protection, and yeah, it's basically just in case you get chapped nipples or something like that. I've heard horror stories when it comes to breastfeeding, so I wanted to pack this just in case. I also have some baby-friendly lotion just in case I feel dry and I want to moisturize myself. And then the last thing I brought for toiletries are actually, these are um, Cottonelle for FabFitFun. They came in a FabFitFun box, but they are facial towelettes because I don't know, I might be so exhausted I don't even want to get up to wash my face. I don't really know how it's going to be, but I might just want to freshen up and wipe off my makeup or wipe down my face with a face wipe. So I brought these. So the next thing I brought with me, I actually don't have it physically in this room, but I'll show you guys an outtake of it. It is a birthing gown that I got from Etsy and I love the idea of bringing your own birthing gown because I heard from one of you guys it seriously scarred me when I heard this but basically I heard that they reuse the birthing gowns which is not cool um, and I honestly don't think it really matters that much because you don't care when you're in that much pain but at the same time I do like the fact that you can just be festive and wear like a pink birthing gown and I don't know I just like to commemorate the moment even though you are gonna probably throw it away when you're done actually I think you definitely will but the one I got is from a brand called Mod Mum on Etsy. And I love the fact that it has snaps for breastfeeding and for skin to skin and it also has an opening in the back for an epidural which is what I'm going to be getting. I also love that you can go on her Etsy shop and pick which kind of fabric. You can pick which kind of sash that you want um, since I am probably going to be taking pictures after the baby's born. And the gown is also really high quality. The fabric is not see-through so if that's a concern of yours um, it's very sturdy so I'll go ahead and leave a link to that gown below. And the material is actually also really comfy. It's 100% cotton and it's just really cozy and you want to be as comfortable as you possibly can when you're delivering oh yeah I totally forgot to mention I just brought this really old this is like a Sephora bag I got for free at an event and I never use it so I thought I would put my dirty clothes in here just so I don't I don't know get everything else all yucky in my bag okay so I know all of the moms that have already had their babies are gonna shake their head when I talk about her bag because after watching vlogs and just reading things online your baby basically just stays in a swaddle the whole time they're at the hospital a swaddle and a diaper and a little hat 
and mittens for their hands. They don't really wear the clothes that you bring for them. Um, the only time I think they wear the clothes you bring is when they're going home, so you just need a going home outfit. But the thing was, is I could not choose which going home outfit I liked best, so I'm just gonna bring them all. Okay, so this is one newborn um, going home option outfit. Has a little sweater since we are supposed to be delivering on December 21st, so it's gonna be winter time and it'll be chilly. I have a little hat for her. Doug actually picked this out. Um, little like leggings and and then a onesie for underneath so that's one outfit so I filmed this video before I went into labor so I just wanted to insert this clip because I did end up bringing this with me to the hospital um, this is from an Etsy shop called sassy baby essentials and basically I was sent this little swaddle blanket which is so cute obviously it has her name everywhere this little headband which is so cute it has a really puffy bow on it and this little hat so yeah I will go ahead and link these below if you guys like them they're the softest material ever and I think they'll look so cute on her the next outfit is so cute. This one is if she's like born after Christmas because it reminds me of New Year's. I don't know if you guys can see, but it has like a really big bow on it, but it's a little onesie and then I have pink pants. And then the next one is if she's born near Christmas, but it's like a onesie like this and I also have white pants for her. And I obviously brought an assortment of bows. I have this one, this white one. I have this red one if she's born before Christmas. And then I brought this one depending on the outfit. So yeah, I brought these for her. And then just in case, I know I'm already just getting crazy, but I brought this onesie from Nordstrom because it's just really soft and I might not feel comfortable putting her in actual clothes yet. I don't know how I'm gonna feel. So I just brought this one just in case. So I know I'm probably not gonna use this, but I might wanna take pictures on it or something like that. And it's kind of just like a keepsake. Um, one of my friend's grandmas actually knitted this for her. So I wanted to bring it. Just so I could say this is what you came home in. It's just a little knitted blanket and it's really soft. The next thing I brought is something that everybody says do not bring, but our hospital is an hour away from where we live and God forbid she gets upset in the car because her diaper needs to be changed. So I brought diapers, just like five of them, just for the car ride. And also, um, this is just like a pack of wipes um, that I got with like a diaper pack. So I brought these. I also brought a ton of newborn socks. I think I just brought three or four. And then I also brought this swaddle from a shop called Mitten Arrow on Etsy. It looks like this just in case I want to take pictures in it in the hospital and it comes with a little matching head wrap and then for the ride home I just brought a burp cloth and then just in case I need it I brought a swaddle so that is everything I packed in our hospital bags Doug also has his but his is not exciting um, I just brought slippers and sweats and clothes and obviously his toiletries in there also I wanted to bring quarters for the vending machine because that's something else that you guys recommended and also snacks although I have a feeling Doug will be so excited to get to eat vending machine food because he's just like that kind of guy that he won't eat my snacks but I'm gonna bring snacks just in case my mom wants them because she's gonna be in the delivering room with us um, and I don't want to starve my relatives I'll probably go to Trader Joe's today and get dried fruits nuts um, chips crackers and stuff like that and yeah that is basically everything I packed in our hospital bags again if I forget anything please let me know if you like this video please give it a thumbs up below and make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already I put out new videos every single week and yeah thank you guys again and I will see you in my next video bye guys